Let's talk a little bit more about the debt and deficits this budget would entail and how it would deal like, with matters like the expiring 2017 tax cuts. Joining me now is James Pethokoukis. He's economic policy analyst at the American Enterprise Institute and a CNBC contributor. Jimmy, it's good to see you again. What, what are the headlines for you here? Well, I, what, I, what I find really interesting is those economic forecasts. Yeah, we knew there was going to be a, a, a lot more debt, uh, record levels of debt, a lot more spending. Uh, but what do they forecast for interest rates? Because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. We're going to be spending a lot. Yet they still think inflation is going to be totally under control. Interest rates rising only gradually. So I think that's, that's pretty interesting. They're not assuming any kind of big interest rate shock. Inflate all everything else, kind of an all else equal. They think all else is going to stay equal. And also those GDP numbers Eamon was talking about, uh, kind of a blip here this year and next. But after that, they expect much more moderate growth. And I hope we can do better than that. So let's talk about the interest rates uh, and the inflation piece of this. Jimmy, like, give us some examples. If all of a sudden the 10 year goes from one and a half to two or two and a half or even three percent, like some are saying, what does that mean for the, the budget's goals? Listen, if if rates go up, and uh, I'm and I'm guessing because I don't see those numbers that their long-term interest rate forecast is probably not a lot different than CBO. Uh, if long-term rates are a couple points higher, then we're talking, you know, I don't know, eight, nine, ten trillion dollars more in debt. So that's a lot. But the, what the administration is focusing on is keeping those interest rate uh, uh, payments under control. Uh, less focus on debt to GDP. I mean, that's the number most people are familiar with, to the extent they're familiar with any of these numbers, and that's going to be a record. But as long as those payments are under control, then they feel like this is a sustainable budget, and that's a that's kind of a change of a change of course from previous administrations. Eamon, you know, we know this is basically a priority list. Some call it a wish list, but in, in, you know, Congress has to get behind it. Um, what is realistic? You know, what what of this are we likely to actually see come to pass? And, and I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here that's really controversial, especially some of the capital gain stuff at death. So, what, you know, how much of this spending do you think is really likely to be given the go ahead? Well, I think you have to ask Senator Manchin that, right? I mean, he's the deal maker in the Senate. We'll see what the administration can get through that sort of needle. They have the, the slimmest of margins possible in the Senate, a slim margin of control in the House. So uh, typically, a, you know, a, a majority with a Democrat in the White House and Democrats in control on Capitol Hill can do a lot. But in this case, they can do less than normal. Uh, and, you know, there's always some give and take here and no president gets exactly what he wants. And that's why I think you saw Jimmy laying this out as a values document. This is sort of Biden saying, look, if I could wave a magic wand and, and do something, this is what I would do. But obviously, he doesn't have a magic wand and the Senate's in the way. And, and so that's going to be a political battle uh, throughout the rest of the year. And we'll see where they land. But the, the idea that you'd get exactly this, that that ain't happening. Right. The question is, how much can they push through? Yeah, no, Goldman even said yesterday the fact they're releasing at 1.30 in, on a Friday into Memorial Day weekend suggests <laughs> trying to bury it to some degree. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. Yeah, we have a not long... burying it here, though. We're paying attention. Ne <laughs> never, never. No, we're focusing hard. That's right. James Smith and Kukas, Eamon Jabbers, thank right. you both. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.